Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary and I give you guys an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you grabbed a snack, stayed for a while and click the subscribe button. I would love to have you. I am on the journey of reaching 1000 subscribers before the end of 2021 and you can definitely help me out by clicking the subscribe button. And if you're returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. So for today's video, we are testing out the new RC CMA foundation, concealer, and powders that they just came out with. It seems like RCMA was popular back in like, what was that, 2015, 2016, kind of faded away. I mean, people still use their products, specifically makeup artists, but we haven't really heard anything from them. And now we have. <laughs> So I went ahead and bought one of each of the products and we are going to test it out and see what we think and if it's still the best foundation in the world. So if that sounds like something you would like to see, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, before we get into applying these complexion products on my face, why don't we go over some details? So this is the Unicarton. It is black, it's nice and sleek. It's matte with like the silver lettering. I really do enjoy it. I think it is simple, but beautiful. One ounce, which is like your typical amount that you get in a foundation. It is paraben free, talc free, gluten free, and it is made in the USA with a 24 month shelf life. It retails for 36 dollars and this is how they describe this new product our high intensity liquid foundation gives a unique lightweight all day wear our foundation enhances your natural radiance you will be glowing at all occasions and events rcma's high defining liquid foundation is made with olive oil derived material given a full covered hydration without clogging your pores helps replenish the skin while enhancing your already natural beauty. It does come in three different series, so golden undertone, neutral undertone, and peach undertones, which is awesome, because all you need to do is go in the category of what undertone you are and find your shade. Uh, I couldn't find any swatches anywhere. There's no swatches on the website. There's no swatches on the RCMA Instagram. So that definitely is something that I think they need to provide so that we can have a better experience picking our shade and we don't get upset if we end up picking the wrong shade. <laughs> All right, so if I do look a little bit different, it's because I'm running out of sunlight, so I had to turn on my backup light. All right, so this is what the foundation looks like. I do love the simplicity of the bottle. I do love the fact that you can actually see the color on the bottle. I think it is perfect packaging for my taste. Personally, there's only three from when I went searching. There is only three reviews on these products. I did swatch this already and um, it seems that it's going to match me, but um, the concealer, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> so I do wanna show you, it is just a tiny bit liquidy. So keep that in mind. I wouldn't like put it straight onto your face. All right, it does feel nice. Okay, so I did bring you in a tiny bit closer. I am using my Sigma Round Kabuki brush. This is the F82 and let's go ahead and start blending this. Okay, so right off of the bat, I do feel like um, it might be a full coverage. You can definitely make this full coverage. I feel like. But it's blending out beautifully. Mm, it definitely feels lightweight. For the coverage I'm getting, it definitely feels lightweight. Okay, so I went ahead and brought you in closer. This is what is looking like up close and personal. If I had to guess, this is a complete one pop. You guys already know that I like starting small and then working my way up with the foundation. So I definitely do feel like the coverage is good. I do feel like you can definitely make this a full coverage foundation, but this is the way I like it. So I am going to leave it like this and we're going to move on with the concealer. 
Okay, the next one is the concealer. Packaging looks the same. It's called the Premier Liquid Concealer, and you have half an ounce, um, and this has a shelf life of 24 months as well. It is $29, and it is available in 16 different shades. For the concealer, there is only two series, golden undertones and neutral undertones. A small dab goes a long way. Our highly pigmented liquid concealer gives all day wear. Our liquid concealer Bold pigmentation will cover under eye all types of blemishes and imperfections without drying out your skin or clogging your pores. Made with olive oil derived material, our full coverage concealer hydrates and helps replenish the skin while enhancing your already natural beauty. And yeah. All right, and here is the component for the concealer. It pretty much looks the same, just a little mini version. And I don't know if you can tell, but the concealer does look a tiny bit darker than the foundation um, please excuse my nails I was doing my nails and of course with kids you get interrupted so I only did three <laughs> and I had to film. So um, it was either my nails are filming, so I'm filming. All right, I did pump a little bit on my little palette. In the website and in the reviews that I saw, it said that a little goes a long way. So I am treading very softly. I'm going to grab one of my favorite concealer brushes. This is the Jaclyn JH08 with Morphe. Hopefully it's an okay color and it's not too dark. Okay. Okay, I think we might be all right. Okay. <laughs> I was so worried that the shade was not going to be the right one. Okay, perfect. I'm actually really loving that shade. Um, I hope it doesn't oxidize. Awesome. Oh my gosh, this makes me so happy. <laughs> okay, so this is what we are looking like. Let me bring you in closer. Okay, so this is definitely a concealer that is close to my skin tone, which I'm totally okay with that. I'm not gonna use it to brain my eyes. I'm not, I don't do that. So um, if I want to do that, I could just use powder. But I definitely do feel like the coverage is pretty, <laughs> pretty amazing. All I had to use was that small drop that you saw on my little metal palette. That's it. And I used it under my eyes. I used it in my T-zone, right under my nose, right here, where I get that redness, a little bit down here. And I went just a tiny bit up. And that covered all of that. So this concealer is going to go a long way. And I think this might become a staple in a lot of makeup artists' kits. It is that great. As far as creasing, you know, we all have creases under our eyes. That's not going to go away. But I definitely do feel like my under eyes look and feel great. They do not look drying at all. So I am excited to get into the powders. Okay, the Premier Pressed Powder. This one, same component. You get 0.3 ounces and it also has a 24 month shelf life. This retails for $28 and this one is available in four different shades. Finely milled powders feel luminous, lightweight, and silky smooth. Recommended to use post foundation application for a finishing touch. The setting powder enhances your everyday look by locking your makeup in place and blurring the appearance of minor skin imperfections. So same thing, blurring reduces shine, no photo flashback, and also should cover all skin types, oily, dry, and combination. All right, now we are going to go into the Premier Pressed Powder. I got it in the shade Amber. This this is what the component looks like. It's very slim and it has the magnetic closure. It has a mirror in there. That's what the shade I got looks like. There is four shades, uh, translucent, amber, which is the one I have, topaz, and amethyst. Amethyst is like the pink, peachy tone one that you would probably use for brightening. I would be very interested to see people of darker complexion, like on the very dark side, testing these products out and see if they actually work for their skin tone. It does look like to me that they have a good range and they do have a pretty dark foundation and concealer. But since I am not in that color category, I honestly would not be able, like my judgment, like how would I know, you know? <laughs> and same with powder. Um, I don't know if the Topaz would work for like the really deep skin tones. Just 
my thoughts on the powders but why don't we go ahead and test this out and see how it goes i wasn't sure about the translucent powder but maybe i should have gone in. i don't know we'll see we shall see i'm actually going to use the pressed powder for my under eyes and we'll use the translucent powder to set the rest of my face I definitely am liking the way my complexion is looking. So I'm dipping in. I'm using a Sigma Soft Blend 6-0. And I went in very lightly. Okay, so I think it is brightening up my under eyes a tiny bit. I'm going in with a tiny, tiny bit more. Not too much. I don't want to look cakey. Okay, so this is what the under eyes are looking like. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I like that. Um, this might not be a powder for under the eyes. I figured it could be like the Charlotte Tilbury or like the Pat McGrath, but I'm just not liking the way it looks under my eyes. It seems like a very soft and super lightweight powder like i literally swirled my hand in there and look that is like barely any pigment that's what it looks like swatched in the hand so it's very very lightweight i could have applied too much concealer that concealer definitely feels like it's a super super high coverage concealer so maybe i just used too much concealer i'm not sure but as of right now i don't like this powder for my under eyes, I might try it with a different concealer and see if I like it better. But for right now, with the RCMA concealer, um, I don't think, yeah, it's a no-go for that powder and setting the under eyes. So why don't we go ahead and set the rest of our face and see how that goes. Okay, the next one is the Premier Loose Powders. Same component, it also has a 24-month shelf life and you do get half an ounce this retails for 26 dollars it is available in three different shades the description says our premier loose powders are silky smooth and can be applied pre and post foundation application pre foundation the premier loose powder can be buffed into clear skin as an oil control primer perfect combo for oily areas on your skin post foundation it can be used as a setting powder to lock makeup in place while blurring the appearance of minor skin imperfections so according to rcma it's blurring it reduces shine and there should be no flashback and it covers all skin types oily dry in combination all right guys now we are going to go in to the premier loose powder i got it in the shade amber this is what the inside looks like it has the little plastic cover Ooh. okay so be careful when you take this off because all the powder is right there <laughs> This one, like I said, is available in three shades, the translucent, this one, the amber, and the topaz. Again, I don't know if um, the topaz would cover any one that is like as dark as Nima Tang. Um, so I'd be very interested to see people of darker complexion review this new launch. I'm going to use this to set my whole face. I prefer loose powders for my foundation because I don't like adding extra coverage to my base. So I picked up and I'm just gonna like tab it. I did already bronze and contoured a tiny bit. It doesn't have a smell really, I don't feel like. No, it does not, it's scentless. But it feels super soft. I mean, it looks great. All right, so I brought you in closer so we can look at what everything looks good close up. And um, I mean, it's a good powder. It definitely, it's doing its job. I don't feel like I added any extra coverage, but if this foundation was too dark for me, I feel like it definitely would have darkened it up just a tiny bit more so right off the bat the feeling that i'm getting from these complexion products these are products that you would use when you are doing a full coverage complexion just by the way everything is looking and feeling so if you are a natural bitch and only like looking like 
your skin but better. These are probably not for you. <laughs> but if you are a full coverage bitch and you love full coverage, these are perfect for you. Oh, I forgot to mention, I really do like the component of the Premier Loose Powder. I really do like the packaging. Overall, the aesthetics of the packaging of the whole line, I really do enjoy. I think it's beautiful. Okay, so let me finish up the rest of my face and we will talk. Okay, guys, first check-in of the day, which has been a struggle because it's so humid outside that my lens kept fogging up. <laughs> All right, so I finished putting this on at 10. It is now 11 o'clock in the morning. I did go ahead and reverse the powders. So I used the loose powder on my under eyes and the pressed powder on my face. And I do feel that worked better so this is what the face is looking like an hour in i feel like it looks pretty good but again it's a full coverage foundation which is not my jam but i still feel like my base looks pretty good last night before i took the makeup off the base was looking banging so uh it's definitely a great product it's just full coverage which is not my norm for every day but here it is and I'll be doing one more check-in before we end it and I give my final thoughts. All right, guys, final check-in of the day. It is seven o'clock in the afternoon. Like I said earlier, I finished putting this foundation on and the concealer and the powders at 10 o'clock in the morning. I also forgot to mention, I did use the eye primer, the Jaclyn eye primer, and also switching the powders. Instead of using the pressed powder on my under eyes, I used the loose powder and I used the pressed powder for the rest of my face. I do feel like it held up pretty well for having it on for nine hours. So I am definitely impressed. I definitely give these new products by RCMA a big old thumbs up. They are good, good products. I did really enjoy doing the wear test and I do feel like my face looks pretty good. What do you guys think? All right, let's take it back to Mary in the makeup studio. Right, face is nice and finished. Okay, so let's get into this RCMA product launch. So the prices are definitely on the higher end price. Do I feel it's worth it? It's a full coverage foundation and a very full coverage concealer. So even though the prices are higher, I do feel that it is worth it with the product that you are getting. You you saw how much concealer I used and it did all of this. Like it covered my under eyes here and my T-zone. Probably should have used a tiny bit less. And for the foundation, I only used about one pump and it covered my face completely. I don't feel like I like it was full full coverage, but now that I laid everything else on top, I do feel like it looks like it's full coverage. So I do think that these products are going to go a long way and makes up for the price. Now the powders, they are also a little bit on the, you know, pricier side, but man, these powders are so soft. For sure, the pressed powder is softer than the loose powder. It's very lightweight. Everything that I'm wearing today is very lightweight. Even though it's full coverage, it's very lightweight. I barely feel like I have anything on my face, but I definitely am enjoying the powders and they just feel so soft, both of them. And I cannot wait to keep testing these out. Okay, so as far as wear test, you probably have already gotten my thoughts in the check-ins. But since I am filming a little bit later in the day, I couldn't do a wear test and I'll be doing that tomorrow. But you have already seen that. So yeah, like the whole time travel stuff. <laughs> As far as coverage, these are products that I'm not going to be picking up on a day-to-day -day basis. I mean, I ended up spending $119 on all four products and that is quite a penny. But I do feel, like I said, that they're going to last me a really long time time your average consumer i don't think you are going to get the most benefit from the foundation and the concealer unless you like full coverage every day i feel like these products are more geared towards professional makeup artists or makeup artists that have a pretty large clientele and do makeup 
a good amount of times a week. Just me from testing this out today, that is what I get from the product itself. I'm not saying it's not for your average consumer. I'm just saying if you don't like full coverage, then you will probably not love the foundation and the concealer. Powders, these though, I definitely do feel that they are a pretty, pretty, pretty good product, especially the pressed powder. I am super excited to keep using this. Um, I'm definitely excited to use it with other concealers because I definitely feel like it does not go with this concealer just because it's such full coverage. So I'm excited to try the pressed powder with like some other favorite concealers. But I do give these products thumbs up if this is your jam. <laughs> The price point is expensive, but for what you are getting, I definitely feel it's worth it. Um, for the powders, uh, it's a pretty decent size. I do feel like these will definitely last you a good while. So prices, a little bit on the higher end side, but I do feel like it's worth it. Product itself, for me personally, I'm not going to be reaching for this foundation and this concealer a whole lot just because they are definitely full, full, full coverage and that is not my jam. <laughs> but I hope that this review helps you in deciding whether you want to pick up anything from what they just released. I'll go ahead and leave my shade references down below in the description box. That way you can maybe possibly make up your mind on what shades to get. Because like I mentioned, it was very hard for me to pick shades. I had to literally go and look up reviews on these products. There wasn't a lot for me to go by. Hopefully I help anyone in figuring out what shade to get for the concealer. I definitely feel like I probably could have gone one shade lighter, but I do feel like the foundation is a good match, which I'm so happy because I was so worried about that. <laughs> Okay, I will also leave links of the other three reviews that I'm talking about for these products down below. That way, if you are close to any of those skin tones, then, you know, hopefully that helps you out in making up your mind on what shades to pick up. I will also leave links down below for everything else that I'm wearing on my face that I did not mention. And I think that is it. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you guys more than you know. I hope you like this review. I enjoyed filming it. Um, I love testing out new makeup. Well, I would love it if you gave this video a big thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it and you would definitely help me out in the algorithm and hopefully bringing some new and fresh eyes to my channel. I am on the journey of reaching 1,000 subscribers before the end of 2021 and you can definitely help me by clicking the subscribe button. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.